While the United States and its NATO allies have the fifth-generation, all-weather stealth multirole combat Lockheed Martin F-35, the Russian equivalent is the Sukhoi Su-57, NATO reporting name Felon. Originally called the T-50, before changing the name to the Su-57, the aircraft suffered from numerous delays and made its maiden flight on January 29, 2010. Ten prototype aircraft were built for testing purposes, but structural cracks were discovered on the airframes. This further set the project back and led to a redesign incorporating more composite material and a slightly longer wingspan. Further issues and accidents during testing led to the Su-57 introduction being pushed back from 2015 until 2020. The Sukhoi Su-57 is a twin-engine stealth multi-role fighter aircraft developed by Sukhoi. It is the product of the PAC-FA program, which was initiated in 1999 as a more modern and affordable alternative to the MFI. A multi-role fighter capable of aerial combat as well as ground and maritime strike, the Su-57 incorporates stealth, supermaneuverability, supercruise, integrated avionics and large payload capacity. The high degree of static instability in both pitch and yaw, advanced KSU-50 flight control system, and canted thrust vectoring nozzles make the Su-57 departure resistant and highly maneuverable in all axes and enables the aircraft to perform very high angles of attack maneuvers, such as the Pugachev's Cobra and the Bell Maneuver, along with doing flat rotations with little altitude loss. Powered by two Saturn AL-41 F1 afterburning turbofan engines, producing 88.3 kN dry thrust, 42.2 kN with afterburner and 147.1 kN thrust in emergency power. Flying at a maximum speed of Mach 2 at an altitude of 20,000 meters. Meanwhile, the F-35 only reaches max speeds of Mach 1.6. Therefore, the Su-57 has the capability of striking first and then escaping before the F-35 can catch up. This means the Felon is better than the F-35 in terms of performance, but it can't carry that much payload as an F-35. The Su-57 incorporates a 30mm Gryzev Shipanov GSH-31 autocannon, R-77M, R-74M2, R-37 air-to-air missiles, KH-69 air-to-surface missiles, and four KH-58 USHK anti-radiation missiles, with a wide variety of other missiles and bombs. Six radars are integrated across the Su-57's airframe, which has the potential to provide a significant advantage in situational awareness. Six radars allow the Su-57 not only to track an unmatched 60 targets simultaneously, but also operate in different wave bands which optimize it for electronic warfare and to detect stealth targets at range in much the same way as the Su-35. The K-77M forms the primary air-to-air -air armament of the Su-57 and is a successor to the R-77 that currently equips Russian fourth-generation fighters. Boasting a much extended 200 km range, the missile's clipped fins allow it to deploy from internal weapons bays, while its nose seeker is one of very few in the world to use an AESA radar for guidance. The K-77M is optimized to engage small and maneuverable targets using a nose-mounted active phased array antenna guidance system. One new feature of the Su-57, which has received relatively little attention, is the directional infrared countermeasure system which uses turrets capable of firing laser beams to blind incoming missiles after they are detected by the fighter's missile launch detector apertures. The directional infrared countermeasure turrets are mounted both dorsally behind the fighter's cockpit and ventrally beneath it, and are unique to the Su-57 with no other fighter in the world using them. In the summer of 2019, Russia's Defense Ministry released a video depicting Sukhoi's upcoming Akutnik B drone flying alongside a Su-57. It is highly likely that the drone is being developed as a kind of loyal wingman for the Su-57, augmenting the fighter's performance with datalink and reconnaissance support. Akutnik also appears to have some limited offensive capabilities, potentially allowing it to strike in places deemed too high risk 
for its accompanying Su-57. It has yet to be revealed how exactly the drone is controlled and to what extent it can operate autonomously. The Felon is a very capable aircraft in terms of firepower and maneuverability, but still lags behind the F-35's stealth features. It costs between $35 million to $54 million. That's all for today. See you in another video.